Yeah, so this is the uh, dipping lug. See how uh, see how well it goes. It's uh, pretty light winds out here today, so kind of a pretty okay day to be uh, testing it out. She seems to be going upwind okay. Uh, probably not pointing quite as high as it does with the uh, lateen, but it's got a lot of shape to the sail, that's for sure. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I think it's gonna get overpowered pretty quick when the wind pipes up. And on a small, narrow, kind of tippy boat, that's not such a great thing, but we'll see. See how it goes. Lug sails are known for generating a lot of power for their uh, sail area, and they're not the easiest sails to uh, to bleed power off of as the wind increases. So that's why you'll see a whole lot of lug sails have like two, three, four sets of reef points, whereas say a traditional uh, like a lego mutton type dory sail, triangular sail will have no reef points for the same for the same wind range because it's uh, doesn't generate quite as much power per square inch so as the wind increases you know as a what is it the square the cube of the uh, the force increases as a cube of the speed so the uh, sort of traditional triangular shaped dory sail is able to cope with a lot more uh, range of wind speeds than the log is. But uh, I think it's pretty fitting to have a little dipping lug on an English uh, style duck punt, so and it's just something for fun anyway. Looks like I may need to move the uphaul further back on the yard in order to get the foot of the sail a little bit higher. It's pretty much right down almost to the gunnel at the moment, so. But yeah, I'm actually ghosting along pretty well in almost no wind. There's probably a uh, oh, maybe five mile an hour breeze at the moment. You can see the uh, windmill's just about gone to stopped, and that's uh, you know up quite a bit higher than me, so it's probably getting more wind. I'm pointing pretty good, probably uh, 50 degrees off the wind maybe. Try and fall off a little bit, see if I can get a little bit more power out of the wind. It's just so light right now. Yeah, so much shape to the sail. It's really kind of tough to see. The camera is, uh, is so zoomed in, but uh, it's pretty much got an airfoil shape going on here at the moment. And a really uh, pretty generous, generously curved airfoil at that, so. <clears throat> yeah, I have a feeling it would probably uh, get out of hand pretty quick if the wind were to uh, come up. And I definitely got to get the sail up higher, that's for sure, because 
I can't see a thing on the other side of the sail right now. I know there's no boats in this uh, part of the anchorage, but even so... couple swans. Alright, well it's starting to uh, drizzle out here a little bit, so I think I'll uh, ease off the wind and head back in towards the landing. But uh, yeah, I think I've... Uh, yeah. <laughs> You really can't see under the sail at all. I'm using my phone as a periscope right now. Looks like I'm about to hit a, a mooring ball. Just missed it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Try and get that sail up a little bit higher somehow. Yeah, maybe I'll try retying that now and see how it sets. Probably a good idea. I'm hoping to get over to uh, Gloucester this weekend, so I kind of want to get it ironed out this afternoon, get it figured out so it's ready to go uh, Sunday afternoon over in Gloucester when I raise the sail. I don't want don't to have to be tweaking it that much when I'm out on the harbor. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it's ghosting along. That's for sure. I think it's a little bit more sail area possibly than the uh, than the snark sail was. I'm not positive, but uh, yeah, not a bad afternoon out here. A little bit uh, overcast, but. Oh, here we go. Here's a bit of a breeze.
Yeah, uh, let me try, uh, let's see if I can shift that uh, sail attachment point and see what it does to the, uh, see what it does to the trim.